no sleep till Brooklyn, as they say. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, it's actually a, a, a spec off of our model, which is right here in the case. Yeah. So that's our, our big high-end uh, Daenerys and Droga statue that's uh, coming out in July. It's a limited um, quantity. I believe we're about 500 to 1,000 what we're making. It'd be at a 425 dollars price point. Wow. Um, well worth it's, it, though. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's sculpted, so by, sculpted by Gentle Giant. It's a kind of a co-creation with us. Um, and HBO, as you'll see, we have a lot of Game of Thrones stuff. This is a tell in the booth. Um, yeah, but we have these these action figures or inaction figures that are have been debuting over the course of the past several years in the different seasons that have come out. So you're looking at the newest additions to the lineup. So Hodor and Bran will be out in June. Uh, then you also have Joffrey and, and Tywin and uh, Littlefinger uh, will be out in I believe March next month. Okay. Right around the corner. Yep, right around the corner. And so. If you are uh, interested in the particular uh, Daenerys and Drogo statue at $425 for the price point, you'll notice that we have this Rien in here, which is at a $25 price point. And in the back case, we have the larger, higher end version that is coming out in May. So what we like to do is kind of issue a collectible, very high collectible, and let have that you know go towards the collectors and be available for those you know high end purchasers. And then a couple months later, at least some more fan friends. Uh, price point with a smaller figure that people can have in their homes a little bit easier. Um, so, you know, I was just doing a, a, a huge amount. Like, I was going to say, like, I didn't even look at the price and I was like, that looks yeah. expensive, yeah. but it looks huge so amount of detail. Worth I love her. One of my favorite characters. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So there's uh, no shortage of Game of Thrones stuff. And then down, if you're panning down, the Zelda property that we have uh, right now, these are figurines that the ones that you're looking at right now are for the Skyward Sword line. Uh, and below that are the. Uh, Sorry, Twilight Princess um, figurines. Now those got released last year right before PAX Prime, right for the gaming community. We put them out and they sold out in huge quantities. People just love Zelda so much. So this Skyward Sword guys, uh, these figurines will be out probably later this year, closer to pa um, um, PAX again, I'm guessing, if we can make all the deals happen. But these are just the prototypes you're looking at right now. Um, really beautiful stuff, though. Yeah, again, everything's very, very, very detailed that I saw from you guys online and everything. Mm -hmm. it's so <laughs> So Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra, uh, two very, very hot properties from Nickelodeon. We've been doing uh, art books and comic books uh, that have been on New York Times bestseller list repeatedly. So we figured we might as well do product line to go along with it for the fans. So that Aang Memorial statue that you're looking at right now debuted at New York Comic Con in 2014 and uh, sold out pretty much within the first day. So now we're having a wider release coming out uh, next month in March. And then we also have the Naga blush, which is in there. Lovely Naga. Um, that's really available for all ages. Um, young and old, uh, who are fans of the show. Oh my gosh, I see Judge Dredd, yes. Judge Dredd, uh, this is a, a prototype we're showing off of the show, uh, sculpted by Mike McCann, and uh, he's the same right? gentleman who is sculpting the Zelda yeah. figures. So okay. you're kind of taking a look at a, a different uh, reference work there. But yeah, everybody loves Judge Dredd. I know, it is yeah. awesome looking. It's wow, that's great. Oh, got it right here. And then from our, our horror comic line, you've got the goon. Um, yeah, we just toss everything in. Huge uh, Eisner winning book, multi Eisner winning book, uh, now hopefully going to be a film in theaters soon. This is a. a Blur Studios created this for us, with us, uh, as a Kickstarter incentive originally. It was a faux, faux bronze um, at a very, you know, a generous uh, donor uh, level. But then we went back to it and we said, well, you know, that Kickstarter happened a couple years ago. Let's get it repainted and really touch it up and release it to the fans wide. And we got it back and it just looks incredible. Popular Criminal Macabre series written by Steve Niles. I need to check it out. He looks amazing. 
It's a very fun horror noir book. Uh, Steve's very well known for writing Thirty Days of Night. Okay. The, uh, the okay. Movie. So, I, so this is his uh, his character from uh, Colonel Macabre, who's just always uh, always on the wrong end of the stick, but uh, kind of manages to come out and uh, defeat the supernatural with drink and cigarette in hand. I know. No, I just love the detailing of even the cup. Like it looks like yeah. the drink is actually like it looks liquid. Like it's great. It's awesome. I like him. He's really, really cool. Is this already out to the public? Yes, or everything this? on this wall is currently available on sale through Diamond or you know direct through Dark Horse. Um, all just incredible Game of Thrones product. Many are co-publications with Gentle Giant. The White Walker you're looking at is one of them.